Okay guys, so today in this video tutorial we will learn about how to simulate an ESP32 with that of an RGB LED, okay? As we know that RGB LED is used for different colors emission, okay? So how we can do that first? We need to write VOCV here. Let me write it out. Or again, we will open Google, okay? Here, you need to go to Google and write here VOCV, okay? So this is your Arduino and ESP32 simulator. And this simulator is, uh, I, I can consider this uh, simulator is as good as Proteus or Tinkercad, okay? Now you can see a lot of microcontrollers and here we will click on ESP32. So this is our ESP32, okay? Now we will go to plus sign and we also need to take one RGB LED. This is our RGB LED, okay? Here we have its three pins. One is R, one is common, one is green and one is blue pin. We need to connect this R pin with the D23, okay? This common pin with the, with the VN pin, okay? green pin with the d22 okay and blue pin with the d21 so these are your three of the pins okay so if you want to make straight these lines you can okay if you want okay only if you want it out you can connect like this okay now Okay, it's because straight lines look more beautiful, so we need to make them straight. Okay, now this is uh, our circuit, and why we have connected this ground or common with VN because you must know that that ESP32 is active low. It's all the pins are actually active low pin. Okay, active. It's it simply means that. Uh, if if it is high if if you will give high command on the gpio pins of the sp32 they will uh, write zero on their uh, respective gpio pin okay and here we we can see it's wide setup and here we will write pin mode okay it's a 23 comma 23 comma output okay 23 comma output okay and also 22 comma output because we need because we need all of the pins is output okay output pin okay so 23 22 and 21 okay now okay now now we have a specialized function that is called as analog write okay and on which pin we need to write our it's actually a pwm uh data okay so we can write here 23 comma like uh, there are points from 0 to 255 okay and we if we use write 100 here okay on pin number 23 that is on R pin because the RGB values can be from 0 to 256 so on, on, on the basis of that you can write any of the value like on pin number 23 on pin number 22 and on pin number 21 okay so it, it can be like 190 and here we will write 40 and like this okay so here we can see that uh, what sort of color it will it will emit now it has given us cyan color okay now we will go for certain for loop to see a lot of other colors so we will write for and y is equal to 1 y must be less than 
255 and y plus plus okay so this is our for loop because now we want to uh, change a little bit color okay so now we will just write here as uh, y so this y will iterate from from y is equal to 1 to 2 and then 3 until it will become 255 okay so also we need to write here is delay within the delay of 100 why it is so because we want to see the visible effect because our controller used to be very fast so, so we have to write delay command for to see the results okay now we will run it out we will see oh they said okay why foreign y is less than this and this 23 comma y oh what did they say well let, let me see okay they said they expect the semicolon okay so so here okay yes it is semicolon so run it out now Now we can see that our color will change, okay? After every 100 millisecond, our color used to change. Now you can see that it is, it is changing, okay? It is changing from like a simple sign to blue, okay? And now we will wait. Okay, now it used to be like this okay now okay if we use right y here then we will see what sort of results it shows right here we, we also need to write like 30 here okay 30 is our our like delay milliseconds so now we will see now you can see the changing color of the RGB LED. So in this way you can change a lot of colors or if you want to achieve a single color you can write or you can use this code. So hopefully you got the concept that how you can use an RGB LED with that of ESP32 in VOCV online simulator. So thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe.